All right, hello and welcome to Terror Former TD, which I've covered in the past. Uh, if you recall, the um, whole idea is you get to basically assemble your tower and you can do a bunch of different things. So, um, let's go and, and begin things. Put a gun tower and another gun tower. I don't really think I have much. Oh, we don't have enough enough cash. Is there still no way to make this faster? I think it makes it faster. All right. But I can't move those guys. might not go as well as I would like. Eh, I still don't have enough money. Of course I don't, because every game that requires me to have money is always like, you know, we're never going to give you enough. Alright, there we go. Uh, well, that's wonderful. It's like, I feel like I'm getting hosed. I really just want to be able to, you know, do something. But, I mean, I guess, you know, I, I could have made an idea, a better calculated risk as far as, like, what's going to come in. I mean, theoretically, I only have myself to blame. Uh, but I guess, like, that's, that's kind of, like, the way it's supposed to work, right? So we we play this, we start to unlock some stuff. I need to build 25 elemental towers. Can't even do that yet. Um, we'll do this. Oh, let's see what else do I have. I got a rocket home tower. Reach level 5. Well, maybe that's going to happen. I doubt it. Let's try to figure out like what's the best way to do this. There's got to be like a better way to do this. Do I need like I need 50 to unlock it? No, it's already unlocked. Why is that an option? You know, whatever. We'll just make some money. I like the idea of being able to like upgrade your main tower and do all these things. Man, but it definitely you definitely are at this kind of slightly eh, almost like at a slight disadvantage where you know, this stuff is going to take time to do and in order to really unlock everything, it's it's kind of a long process. To do everything. I've been skipping this stuff. I've been doing things wrong. That's kind of like super disappointing. Um, it's kind of funny, but it's it's definitely Definitely something that um, I consider very disappointing. Very, very not happy with my inability to pay enough attention to um, keep my stuff alive. Why does this chain gun suck so much?
Uh, once again, failure is an is a thing that occurs very often. So I mean, like this is generally the gist of it. You know, it's got kind of a lot of the same stuff. I would like to change some of these, but I got to build 25 elemental towers. That's going to take time. Uh, explosive base is really what I want, so I guess I'm going to focus on that. Although I'm getting closer to this. Seems like that's probably a good idea. Um, yeah, it's just going to take time to, to get everything in here. This did nothing. I feel like money is uh, what is going to be the driving force, force, the driving force behind actually succeeding. So that's, that's kind of what I'm going to focus on. Just add a bunch of these guns. Chain gun was a waste. I'm not going to do that again. Wouldn't mind getting a new tower. Rocket tower seems like a splendid idea, though. And, of course, I can't afford it, because why would I be able to afford it? One rocket tower, please. We'll do a secondary um, mortar tower. I feel like just kind of focusing on the, um... On the, uh, kinetic gun towers is really, like, enough, pretty much, to ensure that you're... going to succeed, because they certainly seem to be, like, the, um... strongest of my weapons, or my towers. Looks like another rocket tower would probably be a good idea. Need all that money. Alright, rocket tower. I don't like that, um... That they keep coming to this side, because I keep putting all these towers here. I know it's not going to keep working. They're definitely going to get me at some point. Yeah, see, I knew it was coming. Hmm. More money. More money is the answer. Uh, dang. The rocket towers are expensive. Mortar towers are a little bit cheaper. Yeah. I feel like that was an acceptable choice. But hey, we got a lot of stuff. A bunch of kinetic stuff. Alright, that's good. And let's see, starter base. I would like the kinetic base. I feel like that's a better one. Uh, we'll do this and a rocket tower. Alright, I think I'm going to do like one more round of this. Would like to focus on some other stuff, but uh, the ice tower is not really an ideal situation.
But I guess if I want to, like, kind of get more of those, I'm gonna have to use it. Alright, eh, laser tower. Yeah, laser tower is gonna be good. I guess I'm gonna go with the energy now. Oh wait, I don't have enough cash. Because of course I don't. Talk about getting hosed. Alright. I just want to try to unlock the new thing, so I'm just going to go with energy weapons, it doesn't matter. That flame tower, though, sounds pretty exciting, so actually I probably will get one of those. Dang. Never mind, guess I won't. Things didn't work out. Uh, nope. Like, it seems like overall it'll probably be a pretty decent weapon, or tower, but... Uh, it's, it's not enough. One more time, just for fun. I feel like this probably actually doesn't really help that much, because I didn't even do connect towers. It was like a, an idea that seemed like it was a good idea, but it was kind of not too smart. Sniker home tower reached level 8. Uh, all right. I did like the rocket home tower. I feel like that's a good choice. I wish we could look at how much they cost from directly right here instead of trying to place them. I think it would save like a little bit of time. Not that it's like a time consuming situation, but. You know what? I'm just gonna use the mortars. Let's just see what happens. Only mortars. Just curious, like, how far can I get if I only use mortars? Whoops, that's a rocket tower. My bad. Now we'll never know. I do feel like, though, you could probably get pretty far. The uh, mortars are probably one of the more... Advanced towers. It's that AOE. Uh, that's that's the best part about it. You know what? I I feel really confident about this decision. Yep. 
feel very positive about this. Oh, a barrage tower would be cool. Um... I'm gonna try to see if I get lucky to unlock that. Although it definitely looks like I need more mortar towers. They're uh, they're slowly starting to get through. Barrage tower, sweet, exactly what I wanted. I mean can't really count the ice tower right there like because it's like one tower like I mean everything else would be mortars and along the explosive route I think definitely adding another barrage tower will kind of fix the problem that we're currently running into where they get they're actually getting to us because this that EMT tower or the EMT of the ice tower, but it do, it's completely useless. Like, it doesn't really do enough to, um, make me feel like it's, uh, actually worth using. Really, guys? Come on. I don't know how somebody's supposed to make it to the 15th round, it's like insane. Um, but hey, we got some, you know, unlocks of stuff. I do um, explosive towers, start at level 3, which is which is good, and considering that I, I was playing that way, that's, that's pretty nice. But that's like the way that it works, like it's gonna depend on how you're choosing to play. Anyway, like when it comes down to it, I, I think for uh, tower defense games, it does something that a lot of them don't, and that's it gives you this nice level of control over what you're going to do. And it's, you know, it's a really enjoyable ex experience. It's a lot of fun. Like, I, I think this is like one of the better tower defense games that you can play uh, out there right now. So uh, it is part of the um, Endless Replayability Fest. I believe, yes, it is part of the Steam Endless Replayability Fest, so, you know, definitely gets a recommendation from me, I think it's super enjoyable, it does a really good job with you building, you know, a better, you know, place and everything, and uh, the unlocks are, yeah, there's quite a bit, and there's a lot of different things that kind of go into it to kind of hook you up, oh, look, I have spells that I didn't realize I had. And we got all these upgrades and perks that are happening. So, I mean, yeah, it's definitely something that, as you play, just kind of keeps making it a little bit better and better. And as you saw, like, I had lots of different ways that I could do this. And I, I have got to say, like, the explosive mortar tower situation was my favorite one. Anyway, link is in the description. I encourage you to try it. If you like it, wishlist it. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the uh, Endless Replayability Fest.